long time he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 236 pounds. Presenting the challenger, the great. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your pain. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, we told you off the top you had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the time. Nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Now he's just cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. 
Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent. Oh. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Big punch land. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Big ball for land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Kick to the body by the Korean Super Bowl. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. And both guys really throwing with authority. There's no gives on that leg kick. Nice body kick lands. Visibly limping here. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Huge block there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Single collar oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You punch lands, that's as good a punch as he's thrown on up. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect, and that one landed perfectly. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg hit. Beautiful punch. Mixed it all up. Oh. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Big punch lands through the middle. 20 seconds left. Oh. And now his opponent in a bowl of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going over to fight over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. He blocks the punch. A single collar tie here. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice.
another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Missed with that right hand. for the inside leg kick. There you see it. One more of those, he might get I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, straight right. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Good punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, collar tie. Oh, and he tags it with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Shaw. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Ooh, blocks the shot. Wow. Straight punch lands. Back and forth we go. That was a thudding leg kick. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Nice strike. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Leg kick rope. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent He's walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Gets over when he throws that kick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Slips the punch. Oh, what a punch. of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. And the horn sounds on round two. Hey, stop! Great job. 
job out there. Let's relax. Excellent work. All those rounds on the pads in the gym have paid off. Now we're going to continue. Keep doing exactly what you're doing. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. to the body, rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Clean left punch followed by the right. Powerful leg kick lands. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Back and forth we go here! Joy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Trying to establish that jab once again. Joy's kick is blocked. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes DC can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch. He's out. The fight. It's unreal. Just kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking you these, man. to check these kicks. Or... Oh, 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 the fight the score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Lands a strike there. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take... Oh! Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Able to check the high kick. You gotta dig deep here. Can't take many of those. You better check. the separation now. Nice body kick. Another clinch position. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, he comes right back to his face. Good jab. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 
nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. A beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. What a fight so far! All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not gonna trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that. Oh. Oh. Still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Good punch, Lance. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Punches in the... Oh. He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 44 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's